Hello students, in this video you will learn to show information using a Venn diagram. You have already learnt about lists, tables, blog graphs and pictograms in the previous class and let's learn about the Venn diagram today. This diagram was invented by John Venn, so it is called a Venn diagram. Now it's a way of picturing a relationships between different group of things. Uh, this is used to show how things are alike and different. And the data is sorted by their traits or attributes or characteristics. And uh, we use rectangles and circles to represent the information in the Venn diagram. Uh, let's see how it looks like and study some Venn diagrams in detail. As you can see that there are two Venn diagrams here. The first one has a title shapes. In this one there are different shapes. You can see that inside this rectangular box there are many shapes but we have put a circle around the triangles and we have grouped them and this group is labeled as triangles okay so the other shapes remain outside the triangle so here we have used on one sorting rule to represent the information now this is the title of the venn diagram and this is the label of the group we have made all right because we have made only one group, we used only one circle. Now let's study this Venn diagram. Uh, it says that it's about animals and there are two circles inside. It means the animals have been grouped into two different ways. So one says land, the other one is labeled as water. So in the first one, in the first circle or in the first group, we have put lion and camel so it means these are land animals now in this group whale and shark are water animals but what about this area you can see that these two circles are intersecting this is the overlapping part of this diagram in which we have written tortoise and frog why because these animals live on both land and in water so when we use two sorting rules in a Venn diagram we always intersect the circles we just don't put the circles separately we always intersect them all right so that if there is something uh, common in both the groups that will come in this part that we can put or show in this overlapping part understood so this Venn diagram is made by two sorting rules so I hope you all enjoyed the video you now have an idea what a Venn diagram is and how you can make a Venn diagram with one sorting rule and how you can make Venn diagram using two sorting rules so let's study some more things about Venn diagram or work on both the rules uh, and let me show you some examples all right Let's work on this Venn diagram with one sorting rule uh, because we just need to sort only the multiples of two. We have used only one circle. All right. And these, this boundary shows, this boundary is actually, uh, the rectangle shows the universal set. It means numbers to 20. You have to have all 20 numbers inside this rectangular box, but the multiples of two will be sorted within this circle all right now you can see all the 20 numbers here and i'm sure you all know what the multiples of two are so let's start the multiple of first multiple of two two times one is two and then next number is four all right then six then eight 10, 12, 14, 16, 
16. These need to go inside the circle. 16, 18, multiple of 2 here is 20. Now all the other numbers will go outside the circle. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17 and 19. So we have presented the information in the Venn diagram very clearly. So these are multiples of 2 and these numbers are not multiples of 2. Alright, this Venn diagram is now ready. Let's work on this Venn diagram with two sorting rules. So as you can see, this Venn diagram is titled as numbers to 20. So this set will have 20 numbers and we need to make two groups of them. One is labeled as multiples of 2. The other one is labeled as multiples of 3. These two circles are intersecting so it means there can be some common multiples so we need to put them here. So let's start working. So the first number is 1. Let's check is it a multiple of 2 or 3? No, it doesn't belong to any of these two groups. So let's put it outside. We cannot throw it out because this set should have numbers to 20. But this number doesn't belong to these two groups. So we just we need to put it inside the boundary but outside the circle. Alright, let's check the second number 2. Is it a multiple of 2? Yes, it is. So let's put it here. The next number is 3. Let's check. Is it a multiple of 2? No. Is it a multiple of 3? Yes. So let's put it here. Let's check the next number. Is it a multiple of uh, 2? Yes. What about 3? No. So let's put it here. What about the next number 5? It's uh, neither a multiple of 2 nor 3. So we need to put it outside the circles. Let's check the next number. Is it a multiple of 2? Yes. Is it a multiple of 3? Yes. So it's a common multiple. So we need to put it in this overlapping or intersecting area. Alright. Now let's do the next one. 7. Is it a multiple of 2? No. Multiple of 3? No. So we need to put it outside the circles. Let's check with the next number 8. Is it a multiple of 2? Yes. No. So let's put it in this area. Let's check the next number 9. No. Yes. So it goes here. The next number is 10. Is it a multiple of 2? Yes. Multiple of 3? No. So let's put it here. What about 11? You know, neither a multiple of 2 nor a multiple of 3. So it has to stay outside the circles. Let's work with the next number 12. Is it a multiple of 2? Yes. Is it a multiple of 3? Yes. It's a common multiple. So let's put it in this intersecting part. Now 13 again is uh, neither a multiple of 2 nor 3 so it will stay out. The next number is 14. Yes it's a multiple of 2 so let's put it here. Now the next number is 15. It's not a multiple of 2. It's a multiple of 3 only. So let's put it in this part. Alright let's check. The next one is 16. Yes, definitely it's a multiple of 2 but not a multiple of 3. So we need to put it in this part only. Shouldn't go outside. Yes. Now, the next number is 17. 
again it belongs to neither of these two groups so it should go out it's neither a multiple of two nor a multiple of three let's work with the next number 18 yes it's a multiple of two and uh, what about three yeah it's a multiple of three it's a common multiple so it will go here what about 19 it's not a multiple of 2 it's not a multiple of 3 so let's put it outside what about 20 yes it's a multiple of 2 but it's not a multiple of 3 now you can see very clearly that the numbers 3 9 15 are the multiples of 3 so we have put them only in this part of the circle the numbers 6 12 and 18 are the common multiples of 2 and 3 and the numbers 2 4 8 10 14 16 and 20 are the multiples of only the number 2 and these numbers 1 5 7 11 13 17 19 are not the multiples of 2 but they belongs to this set numbers to 20 so we need to keep them inside this box and write them outside the circles i hope you all enjoyed the lesson and understood the concept very clearly and i'm sure any exercise based on venn diagram you can do it very nicely so all the best to you and uh, see you in the next video with another new concept. Alright, bye-bye.